Back with some more comfort foods. Here's my homemade lasagna. You already know how your girl get down, you hear me? So first I'm going to start off by browning my ground beef and my Italian sausage. Just make sure you take the casing off of your sausage. Then once everything is browned, I'm going to add some diced onions and some garlic. Once our onions are cooked, I'm going to add some tomato paste, some tomato sauce, and some fresh diced tomatoes. Now it's time to add some seasonings. I have some salt, some pepper, some uh, parsley, oregano, onion powder, garlic powder, and just a pinch of sugar. We're going to cook that on medium low for about 20 minutes just until our tomatoes break down. Now let's get our ricotta filling together. I have some ricotta, two eggs, parsley, some mozzarella and parmesan, salt, pepper, and oregano. Now it's time to assemble our lasagna, okay? I'm using this oven ready lasagna sheets, you guys. This is a game changer, okay? Cause Lord knows I hate boiling lasagna. But I'm just layering this with lasagna sheets, sauce, ricotta, cheese, and then, you know, continuing the process all the way till I get to the top. And then when I get to the top, I just use lasagna sheets, ricotta, sauce, and then cheese to top it off. I just topped the lasagna with some extra mozzarella cheese, some parmesan, and some salt, pepper, and oregano, and some parsley for a little razzle dazzle. And I'm going to cover with some parchment paper and put it in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes. After the 45 minutes, take the parchment paper off and put it back for an additional 15 minutes just until the top gets gooey and gooey. And there you have it, you guys. Make sure you let your lasagna sit for at least 20 minutes before you cut it or it's going to be a soupy mess, child. But there you have it, my homemade lasagna. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.